Hey, what's going on guys? Robert here from Rob is Tech. Wanted to give you guys a quick little tutorial today on changing the Mac icon, um, the little graphic there. It's pretty cool, it's easy to change, and there are tons out there to customize um, your Mac with a cool, maybe retro looking um, style or any kind of style you guys want. Pretty cool, Google around for them. I'm gonna go show you guys how to change one with an example pack today. I apologize in advance for the webcam. Screenful likes to crop this webcam for some reason. I apologize. Anyways, let's head right into it. Um, like I was saying, there are many different stylized icon looks you can get for your Mac. Uh, this is just one I have here. I'll leave a download link in the description below. But they have all different kinds of icons for di different things in your Mac, like your documents folder, downloads, DVDs, all these different things. And you might be asking, well, what are exactly these replacing? Well, these are replacing... Uh, the regular built-in icons, like um, you could change your folder, for example. You see here how there's a big, you know, that blue folder. Maybe you wanted to change the way folders appeared, or maybe you wanted to change the way, I don't know if I have any music in here. You wanted to change the way different things appeared, videos. I don't really have anything on here. Um, documents, maybe text documents, things like that. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. It's pretty cool. I'm just using this kind of... Um, pre-made little graphic. I guess you could make your own if you had the right dimensions. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and let's just change, um, for example, the internal disk drive. This is a cool one. This is um, a floating icon. So um, what I have down here are my list of hard drives. And you can see that I've actually changed the icon because only three of these are internal drives. This one drive I have here named Beta is an external USB drive, but I like all of them to be the same so they have the internal icon instead of the USB icon. Again, simple change. So let's go ahead and change that to, let's say, this cool floating internal one, like I just said. We're just going to go ahead and click on the one we want. Let's say we're going to change beta here. We're going to go ahead and right-click and hit Get Info. We'll see here we have a large preview of the icon, and then we have a small one up here. A lot of people make the mistake they try to click on this and move this around and all that. This is good if you wanted to, I guess, save a high-quality or actually mount the drive somewhere else, I don't know. Anyways, you're going to want to wanna click on this little icon up here. And from here, you can copy, paste, all that. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to right-click the one we want. We're going to hit Get Info, just like the same thing. And we're going to go ahead and just Command-C and copy that icon. And then come over here and simply Command-Paste. Now, the icon for that has changed, and we have this cool floating look down here. So if we come down here, we can see the icon is floating. We can do that with all these different ones. Like, let's say, for example, iDisk. iDisk has kind of a boring icon here. See here, iDisk, and yeah, it's kind of boring. Let's maybe we want, we want to make it floating. They also have a floating one here. Again, this is one of those theme packs. It's free. We're going to go ahead and copy that, and we're going to go ahead and paste that there. So now we kind of have this floating look. It looks really cool. I might be able to actually bump up the icon sizes here. Show view options. Let's take those icon sizes up. And there you can see, very big. Uh, it looks cool because it looks like the uh, the drive is floating. Again, if we wanted to change that back, all we have to do is just right click. Uh, you could probably get the file online or just, you know, copy it. And then just come over here, get info, and paste. And then we're back to where we want. Just a little quick little tip, I guess. Uh, I probably made it longer than it needed to be, but... That's just me rambling on. It's a pretty cool tip. Uh, it makes your icons, you can kind of give it, like I said, a, a stylized look. They do the same thing for the dock icons below. Um, just if you want to kind of spruce up your Mac and give it your own custom style and feel, there's tons of themes out there to choose from. Again, if you want to use the one I'm using now, there's some pretty cool ones in here. Uh, link in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more technology-related videos, tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video.